Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and it's another day and we're in June that means we got a ton of furniture to sell yeah that new production chain has reworked out well for us so we got some mushrooms and that loaded up and flowers also got the eggs loaded up to sell got all of them so about 14,000 litres and we did pick up the last two trees that we could from here all these other trees are on plot 59 so and these trees are going to go into the carpentry. Obviously the sawmill still has its use to make loads of planks, but also when we have wood, I think we just chuck into the carpentry. A little bit off balance this is, so that's going to be fun. Oh yeah, very tippy there. Yeah, I think it's the fifth wheel on the actual lorry itself, not the yeah trailer. But yeah, so we got a ton of furniture to get rid of, so we'll deal with that. If we can make, I don't know, 150 grand out of all that, at least. Baldi will do that towards the end of the day. Put the times up to times five. Yes, yeah, so I know a lot, a lot of that stuff ain't accepted there. Oh, yeah, we've got some oils and some cheese. I forgot we do that. And a pad of glue, so. 11,600 litres of timber. Not too bad. And can we go up here? Yeah, that's perhaps another thing worth doing. Like, flatten this out. Oh no, we're beached. That is. That's dragging his fat horse off the belly along that. <laughs> oh, I go well ready. So, oh, can John Deere give us a little boosty? Actually, no. Where's the fence to? If anything, yeah, if you joined here with the mower, uh, with, not with the mower, with the um, hydraulics, the front loader. Yeah, that's the word, <laughs> struggling here today, so. But hopefully, we have to do that. Also, our grass that is ready to mow, and we'll make our next batch of hay that we're in desperate need of. Then, so let's give us a little boosty. There we go. Is that, is that budging? Slightly. But now, can we drag this out of here? Let's straighten this up. Come on, this has got 1500 horsepower. It should be able to drag this up. No problem. There we go, that's better. Just need a little boosty, that was all. So, yeah, let's take this to the shop and get these sold. And there we go, at the shop. So, yeah, 15,000 litres of eggs. Man, those chickens produce a ton of eggs. Look at that, quarter of a mil. Not too bad, 90 grand there. That would definitely make a dent in our efforts of trying to get to the half a million mark, so. Because that's the minimum we need. If we have a look again. So cotton harvester, that is 376, so that is, can we have, just look at some of the options, tracks, cost nothing, got to have strobes. Yeah, 
GF376 and the sugar beet is 353 so yeah and plus a hit is what 425 430 that's 800 grand we're not going to get that not between now and October time saying that if we keep on producing these furnitures who knows but yeah obviously with the whole production chains it is good and that but I'd like to get back to farming that's why I may at some point just set a lot of these to sell on it so once we're done here to sell get the passive income coming in yes I know it's 40% um, we lose or what we get but overall I think it's worth it but yeah that is working out really well for us I should only need, need a vent oh, well you know we don't need a vent exactly but we'll use it with the forage so we'll go and grab you get you hooked up there we go I want to drag that bad boy over here but yeah a little cut through there or something like that perhaps will not go amiss it's scurry there so I'm just going to part this over here for now John Deere, we'll move you out of the way. Yeah, it is ready to harvest, just double check it. But we'll get everything over here and realise it's not ready to harvest, so we'll get a cut in June, get another cut in August, which is going to be hay, I national no, silage, and then in October, our final cut for winter. Because the crop window, if you have a look. Grass grows until November. So, yeah, the next cut would be until March, I think. After that. But, anywho, we'll go into our Challenger Swaffer. Yeah, I did see a comment about, well, perhaps someone didn't realise we had the like ultimate bathing setup, but. Obviously, yeah, we can go with that with the quick bell and that. Actually, I did enjoy that. But I'm just, I'm just thinking something different, like something different equipment I haven't used before. Because obviously, we, well, perhaps any chance we'll use this next, this particular swaffer, would be on something like I don't know, uh, American Falls, Court Farms. We're not going to go over this. I've got, I've got two ideas. What I'm going to do with Corp Farms when that eventually comes out onto console. American Falls, that's still in testing. After, yeah, so we find updates on the old testing thing, and apparently it went into the red. And I initially thought, and I think what a lot of people thought was, it just fell tested. I know according to a recent post by Dancy Boy, actually, actually a comment it was, someone asking. He spoke to Giants and what it means is when it goes in testing, when it's assigned someone to test, it has three days then to get tested and if that nothing happens then, then it goes into the red. But as of recording this on, well, technically going into Friday, Thursday night into Friday morning into this at like 3 o'clock in the morning I'm recording this but early on on Thursday Nancy Boy did say it is still in testing and it's actually with someone now so someone's actually testing the map so fingers crossed by the time this comes out which may be Friday maybe over the weekend it depends on what how much recording I can get done because I was planning on getting episode 22 out before well this well this evening, Thursday evening, do a d double upload, but 
things didn't quite work out. So this will come out either on Friday or Saturday. I'll try for Friday and then get some episodes recorded overnight and out before I have a little power nap in the morning. And then, yeah, I think if I, if I can get um, six videos recorded today, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a push because I'm away at the weekend. Well, away Friday night, I'm going to be back in early hours of Saturday then I've got bike rallies going to this weekend so I'm able to get something done on Sunday possibly but that's if I'm sober enough and not hangover enough so we'll see how it goes I'd, I'm loving the, smashing these episodes out and we're just progressing we're progressing really well and yes it's no longer a survival-esque challenge we're thriving Obviously, if I stuck to what Chainsaw and Dagwin's doing, then yes, we'll be nowhere near as we are now. Because literally, most of these productions, apart from Sawmill, which is part of the map, they don't have access to things like farm supply production. That cost us 20 grand. So, yeah, perhaps uh, in hindsight, may, may I should have done things differently. But. This is how I'm going with things and the views tend to be a bit mixed. Some are doing really well in the algorithm, others are, are a bit average. So, yeah, I'm just going to see how it goes and perhaps we'll start to slow things up. I think we're doing so well. And uh, really, hitting already 22 episodes already, or 23 this is, I think. Yeah, most of my let's plays, well, oh, it, in fairness, a lot of my let's play tends to end a bit abruptly. I think the only one I've done so far that ended well was um, Constant Farm by Oxygen David. Al Shuvin, uh, if I remember a call before my sick month <laughs> absence, it, we were having issues with the fields and that, with the textures and that, or something like that. Silver Run. I've still got actual save for Silver Run, so I may go back on Silver Run at some point. Finish that off. Get the road coaster built. Boat and soon really well, I think, based on the videos and that, so. But, anyways, we'll get this done. Get this finished up. And uh, yeah, I do love the Swaffer. Oh, going a bit skewed. But yeah, as I was saying before, we'll get it done. Almost on the headland. And then we'll get the worker going on this. And we'll go. Yeah, well, get the worker going on this whilst we go and pick it up, I think.
so in total we had an extra 50,000 years from field compared to where it was before because I think when we did it when it was just a meadow we got just shy of 200,000 liters. This time we got 250,000 liters, and the extra 21 is cutting the grass up there a bit. Not nothing too detailed, nothing too intense, but just enough. And also, ooh, ooh, bit of a lag there. And also just some um, grass up there on the old forestry area. So we'll get this in. And we'll get us converted into hay. And actually, whilst we're here as well, might as well check on our animals, see how they're doing. Pretty sure the cows need feeding. Sheep, they're okay for now. Need some hay soon. Chickens are topped up. Cows, on the other hand, they definitely need some. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that, is that capacity? Well, yes it is, so... Let's get four time a bit. Come on, let's get out of this little bit in there. There we go, there we go that's better. So yeah, how much milk they've got? Six, eleven, twelve, twenty-two thousand a year or so. A few loaves of milk. But we'll go into the semi. And I think the best thing to do is get that converted into milk. And when's it best time to sell milk? Milk, sorry, got also some sell. So milk peaks at thirteen hundred. At the moment, we're at the rock bottom price in June, so... Okay, that means we need a liquid silo. So, what's on offer at the moment? That's a multi-fruit silo. Liquid manure. Oh, that's just wood chip storage. Don't need those. Seeds for as a herbicide. Nope. All right. So bear with me a sec. Whilst I have a look around. Yeah, and I'll have a look around, see what we've got, what we can get to store some milk. So, righty then, we've, I think uh, we've found something, so transfer the milk into there. So, yeah, in total, done some upgrades and that, so 50 grand for the tanker, and between that, Two grand for the BKT tires because I do like the sounds of the BKTs. There were two grand. Paint was another three grand, so twenty grand in total this cost. And I didn't realise we've had the small liquid tank mod installed, so I'm just going to cheat through here. Ooh. Yeah, I can't cut through there now. That's where we've placed it. So it holds sixty thousand liters. So we'll get all this loaded up. And we'll hold on to these, I think. Sell them in December. However, even though it says for Surrey it's at its lowest at the moment. At well, seventy nine pounds seventy nine pounds per thousand litres. Okay, on average it's about seventy five pounds, but Farm Shop, they're offering a hundred and six quid per thousand litres. And how much story do we have? In total, no, a fair amount. But I think these two here are linked together, these pens with their fill points, are they? 
Yeah, they're both going down at the same time they are, so... When we fill up from one here, it fills from both, so... Good information to know. So yeah, they hold 60,000 litres, so... Thinking... 120,000 litres for a pair of them. Not too bad. Ooh, decent amount of milk here. And this is what? 30... Yeah, about 30... Two grand here, just alone waiting. So, when it comes to time to buy our harvesters and that in the fall, prefer a bit short on cash, grab a bit of milk and sell it. So, I'm hoping we do it right. Okay. I thought this was going to be accepted. And this one not in the spawn trigger point. Ah. That's a problem, that is. And that's not accepting, so... Fair enough, fair enough. Looks like it's going to be a quick trick to the mod hub and find out where we can store the milk. Because we're not selling this now because I do want to store it, so... Back in a sec. So alright, got all that done eventually, so we got rid of those old ones because there was only four... Actually, yeah, actually in fairness, it's my bad. They only hold liquid fertilizer and herbicides. Just getting that bit of the milk in. Because I accidentally may have, yeah, unloaded or loaded that back up. So, 54,000 years of Surrey, and actually, we're not going to set it now. I think we'll hold on to that for a while, but that's got a decent enough capacity. And the cows, they do need feed urgently. I have interest. How many pads have you produced of these? Oh boy, 34,000 years of planks. <laughs> so, yeah, that is. 10,000 litres of furniture. Yeah, wood chips, it's constantly missing, so. Actually, to get some pellets in that, we could cut all the rest of these down. So, yeah, a few, a few trees here, not many. But cut them down. Yeah. And our last forestry area that we do have currently available as well is over. There by our old farm area, there's some decent trees over there, so... All in all... Yeah, we're running quite though, but I think, yeah, next episode we can do that. But yeah, we'll grab the case. But the milk, we shouldn't have to worry about because... Was it? 110,000 years we got there as an extension, so... Yeah, I think we're going to be alright. So I have to, you have to enter it now, but if I could get an extra 20% on the price, then I might as well wait. We're in no rush for it now, so... A little hiccup there. And it's also going to need some silage, so... And this may not be the best tree. Actually, the best tree is actually the tipper body. On, funny enough, so... And the planks, oh, they're starting to go down now. 4,027 litres, so we need to quick get these cows fed. And then we'll start to send out because that's his ice peak, 4,000 pounds. That is a lot of manure for us, so. Try to find a way to get us in without having to clip on the roof. Yeah, we're still going to clip, aren't we? Uh, yep. Yeah. Is that all of it? Food. Have a little gander. Nope. You know what? That's enough for now. 
We'll feed, feed them more later on. Make Sidder get one of those Stroutman trailers that has a sliding floor. Or may I look at some other options. But at least he got enough food for the time being. Yeah, that's just a glitchy mess that is. Is that filled to the capacity? Nope. Oh, I knew what. I'll do. I'll shut the rest into here. But yeah, try to get... Yeah. Actually, how much is one of those sliding floor traders? So... Have a look. Or something with a belly in that. Perhaps a tip side so left could help. So I've got a roll. Yeah, that's got a sliding deck. So that is 52 grand. And it has a manure spreader option. But the Stroutman. Yeesh. 90 grand that is. May have a look at some modded ones of those. So I have a sliding floor. That does. Class cargo 715. What about that? Ooh, tempted by that. I think we'll have to see where we are afterwards with money wise, because we can't just keep on spending money where we just really need because we do need the money for the harvesters, at least half a mil. Once you've got that half a mil marked, then yeah, sure. We can get away with spending lots of money. And that's bit. Just set that poor look out. You know what? That's fine by us. Now what I did there was just select the green door. But, yeah, okay, so silage. How much have we got? 185,000 litres. Okay, we'll no, sort that production. That's going to cost us money. I know what, that should be enough. Just kick off the TMR production again. Furniture, 4,033. Did that go down or up? Not sure, but I ain't going to risk it. We need to sell it now, so... May have to do a few trips, sell that, but... So, yep, yeah, we're going to get this done. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it in the end, so I think what we'll do is when we sell, sell it during the time lapse, and then for the final sell, we'll come back together and find out what the final two is.
done so until we got 57,000 litres of furniture. Doing a quick math there, that's over 200 grand. I can tell we've got lots of pads because the game is lucky as hell. On top of that, we got 3,000 litres of flowers, 2,000 litres of mushrooms, a of cakes, a of clothes, and a little bit of bread on the side. You know, just to chuck in the extra money on top, so... We're looking at 220 grand for the furniture alone. 15 grand-ish for the clothes, that's 235. So... Or say around 245, 250. If I had to guess, I how much we will make, so. You know what? So we'll sell everything at the farm shop. I'll try to get it all in one go, but I doubt that's going to happen, so. Sell the first load. Maybe lucky. Get us all in one go. And look at that money shooting up. And Ooh, wow, two hundred and sixty-one grand. Sweet. And that's pretty much the target we needed. That's. Yeah, that's the target we needed, so I'm absolutely chuffed with that. I've still got things like milk and that we can sell. Let's have a moment just to have a look at stuff, so really if we could get those planks out, sell them, but oh well. Oh yeah, fifty grand still for the clothes. But now they're going to start taking a news life, so we'll sell, may sell some more in July, but besides from that, that's done until next year. Cakes are starting to back up again. And what else? Wow, so flowers, we're going to store those. Mushrooms are going to go up, but I think if we store them, wait until September, sell some more of those. Maple syrup, that's doing alright at the moment. 22 28 is the maximum price. And the pellets at the moment, they're at 919 And they're going down, they're going to hit rock bottom in August. But come next year, or come in the year, 3400, possibly. Not sure if that's the correct scale, but that's what I'm going on at the moment. Even if that's with the, even if that's with the sort of buffed economy settings, that's still what, 1600, 1700 looking at there. And also, you may see in the time lapse, we did spend some more money on water. And that's because that tank, or that little free week refill on New Man's Land, the door that comes from the map, that was just ages filled up, and it only lasts about 17,500 years before it shuts off automatically. Also, I've had some Meridian water tanks. Double than these little Bowsers here. So, in total, these hold 105,000 litres of water. So, yeah, I think we're going to be fine on that for now. But, man, things are definitely looking up from here. Got enough money for the harvesters. Yeah, was it? Yeah, 375 for the combine for the cotton harvester. And then it was about a hundred grand for the cheap potato one. Just checking our cows are looking good. Actually, how is our manure doing? 
956, so... Yeah, not doing okay, actually. I thought we've had some more in Europe now, but... Well, well, that's how it is. So, 153,000 years of silage. And that's still chugging away processing that. So, yeah, overall, I think that is a good way to end. So, next time, I'm definitely going to look at making those pellets. If, if it is three grand a piece, then... Ooh, looking forward to that, but perhaps it was with the... buff the economy sense we had on before, so... Perhaps we're looking at... Ooh, I don't know, yeah, 1700 if I had to guess. About a 50% increase, was it? Compared to... Easy economy, but regardless, so worth more than timber alone. Of course, that timber can be used to make furniture, and we've just seen how much money you can make on those. So, yeah, no, I did say he was going to leave those trees there, but we may leave those trees, but just use the trees from the other side of the farm. Cause I do like the aesthetic of those trees, sort of isolates the farm, so. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.